Good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog where I am in Toronto. I'm currently in the only backpackers in hostel and I'm about to go up and grab some breakfast and then start my day. I got chatting to some people at breakfast this morning and we are all going off to see all the touristy things in Toronto. So we're just off to the distillery district which is meant to be like 19th century buildings, quite artsy, it'll be like restaurants and cafes and then we'll probably head to the gallery and the CN Tower and just get all that touristy stuff done today. Why do I really want to ride this thing? I mean, it's a sculpture, but it looks like it's just been around. There's, there's a nest in this sculpture. Well, pretty much everywhere in here is closed. It's really cool, and the sculpture's cool, but I think we're going to come back here a bit later for dinner to actually go to somewhere that's open. I went to try and go into this St. Lawrence Market, but it was very closed. It said it's only open on Saturdays and Sundays. So we're going up these stairs to see if we can get in somewhere. It looks like we're at the wrong St. Lawrence Market. That's kind of a farmer's market thing. So let's see what's in here. Young Dundas Square, which is basically Toronto's mini version of Times Square. So we're in the Royal Ontario Museum right now and we are on Fall Street, making our way down and Fall Street is all about the ancient civilizations. It's Egypt, Rome, yeah. loads of random stuff. Well, it's taken us an hour to do the first floor, or third floor, um, and we are very hungry, so we're trying to find the restaurant, but I'm really not sure where we are. We found it, the most important part of the museum, the restaurant. This is summer. This is summer. Bob Ross as a bison. We are just in Kensington Market now, I think, but it was basically just like a road. It was really cool and quite like hip and stuff, but it took us about 30 seconds to walk down there. So I kind of wish there was more, but I'm not sure there is. I think that was it. Well, we have got the thickest. <laughs> it's like trying to drink ice cream out of a straw. <laughs> we have got the thickest smoothies ever. I've got a spoon for mine. Ah. And Alessandra has gone to do something with her travel agent. So we're, me and Robert are heading off to CN Tower.
is higher than the main observation deck. So I'm currently on the highest observation in the Western Hemisphere. So this thing is moving because the tower is actually blowing in the wind. Well, we have definitely managed to fit a lot into one day, so my hair is crazy. Um, I don't think we're going to go back to the distillery district this evening because I'm knackered, so I'm just going to grab some chips or something from the hostel uh, restaurant and then face on home and head to sleep and do it all again tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to day two in Toronto. Today I'm out by myself, it's a bit of a later start because I had to do a test ready for the coach to enter uh, the US today. I was going to head to Scarborough Bluffs, which is kind of a beachy park type thing. It's, it looks really cool, um, but it's kind of cloudy, so I'm gonna see if the weather gets a bit better and I'll go then. So for now I'm heading to Trinity at Bellwood Park. There's meant to be quite a nice cafe around there and a lot of people have recommended it to me, so. Let's go. I ended up spending a lot more money than I had hoped yesterday because, I mean, doing all the touristy stuff, you're kind of going to, aren't you? But I ended up spending about £110. But luckily today, the things that I'm doing don't cost much at all. So I'm heading to Ossington and then I'm getting the bus from there. But to be honest, I've heard that Ossington's a quite cool place, so I might have a little walk around as well. The only thing I've spent so far is $13 for the Presto travel card. Gets you unlimited use on buses and trains and streetcars and all of that. So. This is such a nice avenue. The sun has come out. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to Scarborough at Bluffs before, but it's okay. I'm gonna enjoy the sun. And it's so pretty. Like this was the prettiest road ever. but I'm walking straight past the park because I kind of wanted to get a drink or something to walk through it but literally everywhere is closed like everywhere opens at 11 and I don't know why maybe Canadian people just wake up really late but I was recommended to go to a cafe called the Early Bird Cafe and I want to go so I'm going to try and hunt for it but I have no Wi-Fi I'm giving up I am giving up it's 11 a.m. now and I can't find it and I can't find a Wi-Fi to find it. So I might just have to go into the next cafe I see. I'm sure it'll still be lovely. This place is so nice, I would definitely recommend it. I wish I could sit down with a drink or something. I probably could to be honest, but I've just walked through it and especially on a sunny day, it's gorgeous. Scarborough, that's how you pronounce it, not Scarborough. There's a place in England called Scarborough, which is why I thought it was pronounced like that. Um, and I think it's about a half an hour walk to the Scarborough Bluffs. I've lost my my daily travel card, which means I can't get the bus down there. Also means I'm gonna have to buy another train ticket to get back. Well, there is Lake Ontario. I don't know how you get down there, but <laughs> that is pretty beautiful. Look, there are people down there. How do I get there? God, I'm scared. I'm trespassing right now to get to a shortcut because I do not have much time at all. And there's loads of big signs saying, do not trespass. Then there was an open section in the fence. I was like, why would you have it open if you're down and people to trespass? Um, I'm just in a bit of a panic <laughs> because I really want to like go in Lake Ontario. This is one of the great lakes. But I did fall over, but I can see the road. Yes, I made it. 
and I'm alive. is absolutely amazing. I wish I came here for longer. Definitely makes me want to come back to Canada but I think I need to start making my way back um, to the hostel now. I need to try and find my way back to the train station. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get back in time but I'll be as fast as I can. Um, this just makes me so so excited for camp um, because I was literally just down there by the lake collecting sea glass. It was really cute and I just know that I'm going to be able to do that every day when I'm at camp. Well this is blooming horrible. Oh, this is a big, big hill to get back up to try and get to the station. Um, and a bus has passed me, which means if I didn't lose my card, I could have just got a five minute bus up. But, you know, burning those calories, burning off those Turkish eggs. That is it. I am out of here. It's the end of my Canada adventures. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I'll see you again in a different country. Um, but for now, I'm gonna head back to my traveling to camp vlog, so make sure you go check that out.